Lightweight wireless gaming mice are exploding and not in popularity, but literally they are catching on fire. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P and today we're gonna take a look at some very interesting and dangerous news that we have going on in the gaming mouse market with gaming mice literally catching on fire. This understandably caught a lot of traction on Reddit. User 12AI posted that his brand new G Wolves HSK Pro 4K wireless gaming mouse caught fire and exploded on his desk. And it caught a bunch of people's attention to find out really what happened and what led up to this mouse catching on fire. Now, if you were browsing Reddit, you saw it, you heard about it, maybe you just, you know, put it in your head and you kept on scrolling. And sure, you can maybe just cast this off as a one-time thing. However, it wasn't until a second user, Catfro, posted the exact same thing within hours. It was actually later confirmed that this user posted it on Discord the previous night. So within a 24 hour period, we had a case of two wireless gaming mice from G Wolves with their HSK Pro exploding all within one day. Now this is also a brand new release from G Wolves. It's $180, a super lightweight 30 gram fingertip grip mouse. And they have already updated their listing stating that this mouse will release with a new battery. Not a good launch so far. Yeah, that is not good to say the least. This potentially could have been a lot worse than what the outcome was. Thankfully, neither of the users were hurt. That's the best news here, obviously. We do, however, still have damage. You could see in both cases, the battery there inside that was bloated did explode and the entire butt of the mouse melted. That's the best way to put it. The plastic is melted, which means there was immediate heat that could have caused this to happen. You can see sort of around where the explosion took place. It's kind of blackened and charred. But just the fact that we have that much melted plastic goes to show you how severe this explosion could have been. Now, both users reported that this happened while they were charging their mouse, obviously pointing to a faulty battery. Now, if you remember, this really isn't new necessarily for these lithium batteries. A few years ago in 2016, the Note 7 was literally exploding due to the lithium battery. And this is actually relatively common when it comes to some of these lithium batteries. If you have a Samsung phone that's four to five years old that you have tucked away in a closet or in a drawer, take a look at it. You might notice that the back case to your phone is popped out and the battery inside is bloated. Now I did some research and this case seems to be uh, the result of a bad batch of batteries that got faulty during production. A lot of these times when excessive heat is involved and some of the welding points of the battery are you know, faulty and damaged or just aren't done right, they could explode due to that excessive heat, which would make sense here considering both mice exploded during charging, which is when heat is directly involved. This isn't the case of a puncture wound causing the battery to explode. This isn't the case of the battery lying somewhere for five years and then going through the cycles of humidity and all that stuff. No, excessive heat, odds are a bad batch of batteries. And G-Wolves actually responded to this within 24 hours as well, claiming that they actually reached out to a new supplier for this new batch of batteries that they use exclusively for pre-orders, they say. And they also claim they immediately ended their relationship with this new battery supplier. And that leads me to believe this new supplier they used, maybe was giving them a better price or is able to sort of, you know, help them round some corners to get these out during their shipping window. But this is only affecting mice that were ordered before the November 17th date. So again, maybe they reach out to a new supplier because like I said, they wanted to hit this release window in time to get these pre-orders out. Maybe it helped them save a few dollars at the end, but they identified the issue immediately. This new supplier, bad batch of batteries and terminated their relationship and future mice will not have this issue, hopefully. Now, what they're gonna do is they are going to replace the battery who do have a mouse from before this order window, or they'll just give you a brand new mouse altogether if it hasn't exploded yet. Now, I have to say it's great that both people were not physically harmed or damaged, that they were both present during the time of this, because if they charged their mouse, you know, and went out to dinner or went out with friends, left it unattended, who's to say what could have happened? This could have been so, so much worse. Now to find out exactly what happened here, I reached out to 12AI so we can get his first-hand account of the events. Okay, so first off, you know, obviously this could have been so much worse. It's great that you're not injured at all. I know you said in your post that you were pretty much just like watching TV when this happened, your hand wasn't on the mouse. But 
Can you tell me, did this happen like all at once with the battery exploding or did it happen over like maybe like a half hour window, for example, with it like starting to smoke, uh, catch fire and van melt? Okay, so basically what happened was I plugged in the mouse to charge uh, because it was blinking red, so low on battery. Um, then about 15 to 20 minutes later, that's when it happened. Like uh, there was a sizzling and then the battery popped. So there wasn't any like heat uh, radiating from it or anything. It just kind of happened. Like you couldn't tell that it was going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it just sort of combusted all at once. It wasn't like a lead up yeah. really. Like you, you heard a little sizzle and then it went. Yeah. And then there was smoke. There was bad smell from the plastic melting. Yeah. Right. So I also know in your post that you showed your mouse pad was damaged. Um, and thankfully it yeah. wasn't a cloth pad because that could have resulted in potentially more damage of a fire. Did, did G-Wolves reach out to you at all yet? Like just in general from this happening and have they offered to replace your mouse if anything? <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't, okay, they personally didn't reach out to me, but I did send them an email and then they emailed me back telling me to contact um, Jim, I think Jewel's Jim. Uh, they asked me to contact him on Discord. Okay. Uh, sending him the pictures of the mouse. So I did, and he said that uh, he was nice. He asked me whether I was okay. Um, That's and good. He was damaged. Nice. So I did. Yeah, I did tell him that my mouse pad was damaged. Uh, so he did say he would uh, replace the mouse pad and re uh, get me a new mouse. That's great. Oh, so they are going to replace your Sky Pad. Yeah. That's great. That's great they to are. hear. Man, this could have been so much worse, but thankfully you're okay. Thankfully you weren't really, you know, personally affected in terms of any parts of your body, you know, getting hurt yeah, or damaged I, uh... as a result of this. So at the end of the day, this potentially could have been a lot worse for G-Wolves and these two users. Thankfully, neither were physically using the mouse at the time while it was charging. Not only could they have lost fingers, their hand, they could have lost their lives. A lot of times with these lithium battery fires, explosions, and the chemical burns resulting from this, they could have lost their lives. And yeah, that sounds grim. You could roll your eyes at that drastic scenario, but these batteries have caused deaths in the past. Thankfully, this was sort of the best case scenario for not only the two users, but for G-Wolves as well. They dodged a massive HSK Pro grenade and uh, re really got the, <laughs> I was trying, you, you, bad humor there. They definitely dodged the bullet, let's just say. This could have been so much worse. Thankfully, the best case scenario. And just know whether you did purchase it before that window that I talked about with the 1117 date, you do have that option to return your mouse for a full refund or replacement. If you purchase it after that date, you should be good to go. And any units going forward that you do choose to buy, uh, you will not be affected. You will not have to worry about having this in your house potentially exploding on you. So that'll wrap it up. Tell you guys about the brand new HSK Pro exploding. Hope you all enjoyed this relatively new sort of news video I'm bringing to you. If you dig this video, a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.